came back the following season and weren't a first in regular starting wise, but played a big part in the promotion season, understand, 99 2000, which was a big year. And again, the long season boiled down to a few games, but you scored a massive goal at Oxford in the run end, didn't you? Which turned out to be a last minute winner, I think, just as you yeah. get into position to, to get up. That was probably the hardest season for me because I'd gone through what I'd had gone through. You'd, you'd had the likes of your Waddle Eras and everything, but the, the previous season was a write off. Tommy White's gone. You come back to pre season and you come back thinking, I'm going to get straight back in his first team. I'm a good player. You believe in yourself. But I'd lost so much. And Stan told me, he said, it's going to take you ages, this. I'd lost my legs. I didn't have Stevie Davis legs, but I'd lost my legs. I'd lost quite a lot just by literally lying down and sitting down for a, for a year, if you will. And he said, it's going to take you ages. And I got frustrated. I was doing okay in the reserves. I was thinking I'm, I'm good enough, I'm ready. But I wasn't. The first team had up their game. Mm -hmm. Stan had brought in some good mm -hmm. signings, so they're going like this. And, and I'm sort of hanging on their coattails, if you will. And it was difficult. You know, we had some fallouts, me and Stan. I thought I was better than what I was. And, and looking back, he was so right in many things. But again, when you're a younger lad, you think you know it all. Stan said, well, go. You're off. So, you know, I'm happy to let you go. Again, knee issues. I've always had the weak knee. So I decided in early February to get my knee done. I thought, well, if I'm going at the end of the season, I'm going to go fresh and fit and everything. So uh, when I had me, I think it was, that was my third operation on my knee. So they said, this time, have 10 weeks off. Have it really build the knee up, get yourself fit. So that was basically wrote off February and March. I came back to training and it's like pre-season for me. And I guess I just sort of stood out in training a little bit and, and stand just one day, the board went up, the, the team sheet went up and I was on the team sheet traveling to Oxford. So me straight away, I'm thinking, is he doing this to annoy me? What's, what's going on here? I'm sort of, I'm on the transfer list a bit. I'm, we're not getting on. Um, but anyway, he named, the, he named the team and I'm on the bench. I'm thinking, oh, this, is, this is a bit strange. But anyway, sat there, game's going on, losing. Wrighty just says to me, he said, right, we've got to go and change this game. He said, you run down the wing, cross it, and I'll let it in. So I went, yeah, sounds good. I'll be happy just to get on. But yeah, that sounds good. So as it goes, gets on the pitch, thinking, right, got my chance here on the right-hand side. Flies down the right-hand side, puts a cross in, completely miskicks it, doesn't get it right into the box. It goes back to the edge of the box, Steve Davis, heads it in the corner. Great ball, Weller. I'm like, yep, yeah, great ball. Like you do. 1-1, one, one, we're back in this. Anyway, righty runs down the far corner. He crosses it, sneaks in between, you know, me heading. Sneaks in between two players, heads it in the bottom corner. All of a sudden, it's a game-changer for me. Yeah, Massive. Yeah, you know, yeah. I go to the press afterwards. You've come off the transfer list. Dan says you're committed now, you love the club and everything. And I'm like, well, I do, of course I do. I'm just happy to be playing. So it went from there. You know, mm -hmm. It was just one game just turned me because mm -hmm. my career could have gone completely different.